What do you get when you put a group of fanboys in a room with a mic? From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G-Roll, and Player 2, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. Welcome to the Peter and Al podcast. Oh yeah, it's time with those Peter and put those headphones in. Cause we're here with the Pistol Pete Junior, aka not the aka guy. And... <laughs> and, uh, and the original aka guy, GBZ, aka the guy, aka. I don't know who I am anymore. AKA it's all a blur. <laughs> AKA searching for my identity. <laughs> um, so what's up? We haven't we didn't do an episode for Halloween weekend. Yeah, we didn't. I blame you. I blame me as well. I don't know why, <laughs> but I, I'll take the blame for that one. But then we didn't we didn't do one this weekend, and we're doing it on a Monday because of me. Yeah. Well, because of Anime Pasadena. Yes. How All was right. Anime Pasadena? Huh? How was it? It was good. It was a lot of fun. We got to see a couple panels. We got a ton of panels, actually. Nice. Saw one for My Hero Academia, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, saw half of a Hunter Hunter one. Very uh, nice. One Piece and Demon Slayer. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Um, how were they? They're all super fun. I would say J- Jujutsu Kaisen's was probably the f- funnest. Mm. Uh, just because it was like it was just like silly, silly vibes. Nice. And then the other one, uh, One Piece was fun too. I would say probably the Hunter Hunter one was kind of meh because like the the biggest biggest name one like. The biggest character that was there was uh, fucking Hisoka. Mm. So, like, the main cast wasn't there, really. Um, Same kind of for Demon Slayer. Although, I don't think you know who anybody from Demon Slayer. I don't. (laughs) (laughs) I want to say I've seen, like, a couple episodes, but I don't remember. Like, it was so long ago. I don't remember. Yeah. Any of it. I wanted to go so bad, but yeah, like with work, it's it's more um, they're getting me more involved with events, so it's mm-hmm. like fuck. So like they they got shit happening all the time on the weekends now. Uh, it's supposed to peter off after this, like once we hit the holiday season. Which did, did now, they tell you that? Hey, Peter, it's gonna peter off. They, no, no, they did not say it's gonna <laughs> peter off. <I'm>, but <laughs> but yeah, so. I missed out. I wanted to go so bad, but I'm definitely going to the next one. Um, are we going to LA Comic Con or no? LA, I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, so I don't know. It's in December, but I think it's the first weekend of December. I'm down to go if you guys are down. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I might be down. I don't... Okay. Um, the last time we talked, you had just started Spider Man, and I was about three hours in. Now we've both platinumed it. Uh-huh. And I want to get into our feelings about this game. You said you had issues with it. I had issues with it? Um, you said. Right after you finished it, like you, you said you liked it, but you had an issue. I don't know if you remember what your issue was now. Uh, no, I think I was talking about Miles Morales when I said that. Didn't I? No, I think you were talking about... Let me see here. I got to go to my text messages. I think it was a text message that you said it in. Let me see. Uh, oh, no. I, I thought you were talking about the glitches. And I had no issues. No, but afterwards, after you finished... Oh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe I just misread. So, okay, cool. Um, so, let's get into... Some, we got some spoiler territory coming up. Because, like I said, we finished it. Um, I... 
did not see the carnage thing coming until right at the end. <laughs> yeah, so most likely, most likely he's going to be DLC, I bet. Either that or he's going to be part of the Venom game. Well, I don't know if there's going to be a Venom game. That, that's just like my optimistic speculation. No, I think I saw something in a timeline where it's... Uh... Hold on, I think I might have it in the stories. Let me pull this back really quick. I don't know. I don't know. The developer, the, the director said that there's no... That we didn't plan anything for Venom unless uh, they, we were, they were waiting until the game came out to make a decision. Let me see. Cause I could've... Okay, right here. So this is... Uh... So this is... They have Wolverine coming out next. Then they have Venom. Then a Marvel multiplayer unnamed. And then Spider-Man 3. Mm-hmm. Is the future timeline for Insomniac Games. That's an official thing from Insomniac? Uh, Wolverine has been confirmed. Venom is rumored... But a uh, very confident rumor. Mm-hmm. The confirmed rumor is a Marvel multiplayer, and then Spider Man 3 has been teased by Insomniac or by the Spider Man 2 director. Uh huh. So, my thing is uh, the, the only thing is, I don't buy Venom, unfortunately, now that I've finished the game because mm-hmm. you, you kill, you, you destroy, yeah, them. you kill, you kill Venom. Yeah, that's that's what that's what I was thinking too. So unless it's um, a flashback, it, I don't, I, I you, I don't know even know where you would be flashing back to. Well, I mean, You'd just be hair like, fucking fucking at the world, <laughs> like, right? No, I feel like there's there's more symbiotes out there because yeah, definitely because there's carnage and then the, yeah, and then you know MJ was scream. Yeah, so I feel like they're gonna have something else. I, I feel like maybe. Maybe ven- the Venom dying is it was a red herring to make you think, oh, okay, Venom died. But what if it's a more? what if maybe Toxin? Maybe, maybe they bring in Toxin on the other one. The, the, oh, the, maybe, yeah. But um, yeah, I was I, I was thoroughly impressed with the game. Once so after that first week after that the, the, they put out an update and I had no more bugs. I did have the cube bug that everyone was getting. Uh huh. I sent you a video of that. That was pretty fun. It just made What's it hard fun? to fight. <laughs> What's that? I said, but that's a fun bug. Yeah, that was a fun bug, yeah. And I feel like that, that cube needs to be in uh, Across the Spider-Verse now. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be an outfit in the next game. Yes, the spider cube. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I did finally watch into the... Uh, or What's it? Uh, no. Across, across? Yeah, and then Beyond the Spider-Verse is the next one coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I finally did watch it. I hated how it ended. I agreed with you there. Like, yeah, the it's, uh, it's so fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, <laughs> we could have. Yeah, they could have either ended it sooner or ended it. They should have done a little more, but whatever. Um, but no, Spider Man. I mean, so I didn't see this carnage thing. So it wasn't until the end. Like I feel like I think I was distracted during the cut scene in the church. Or no, in the in the hospital. Uh, or no, no. What is it? Yeah, in the hospital. You Remind when you talk. what's going on uh, in the hospital. Um... Uh, with the, uh, so you get to where they're keeping the prisoners, and then uh, Wraith says, "Tell me your location." He says, "Oh, I'm here at this hospital." Blah blah blah. And then like the hospital, he's like, "This is obviously a trap. Don't go." Uh-huh. And she goes, and then that's when you oh, with the carnage stuff. Okay, okay. yeah, that's okay. when you fight Wraith and you let him go. Uh huh. And I feel like I, I think I was distracted during. I think I was like, it was one of those times where, like, you know, you're playing, but I'm like, okay, we're getting ready to leave. I just want to finish this mission really quick, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And so I don't think I was really paying attention to it. Yeah. And then, and then after that stealth mission, or not the when you're when you're stopping the bombs, the red, the crimson hour mission. Yeah. And soon, as soon as he starts talking, I'm like, oh fuck, that's Venom, or that's Carnage. Like, soon as he started talking, I was like, that's fucking Carnage. Like that's what Gabriel was talking about. God damn it! How did I not see that? <laughs> Yeah, no. From the first mission, uh, from the first mission, I got the inkling just because they were. It was. It was like. It was very serial killer vibes going on. So I was like, "Oh, I wonder if this is uh, Cletus." Yeah. And it's just like before he gets carnage, before he gets uh, the symbiote or something. Yeah, I feel like I should have got it when he was like the way he was preaching. Uh-huh. I feel like I should have got that. But then, yeah, and then and then and then you see his face and the. Oh, that's the other thing too, because I had that cube glitch. 
Yeah. yeah. So during that whole cut scene, I Cuber couldn't see him. No. So <laughs> he. So I fixed the cube glitch where I fixed my character, uh-huh. but it was glitching so bad where like. So you know that where they slam him against the wall and Spider Man webs into the wall. Yeah, yeah. There was nobody there. Oh, uh, okay. There was no body there, so I couldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't know about the red hair and any of that stuff. So I was like, okay, I don't know what this guy looks like. Whatever. <laughs> uh-huh. So that was another part of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I loved it. I, um, the How did you feel about the Mysterio trials? I liked them. You didn't need to do those. You didn't need to uh, get them all gold to platinum, though, though, did you? No, you didn't. Okay. You just had I a did. All right. I did. I got them all gold. And uh, fuck that one. There's the one uh, uh, at the graveyard where like no hits or whatever. Yeah, I struggled with that one for a little bit. That one and the one where you have to take out 20 enemies in two fucking minutes. No, that one was easy for me. Really? The the construction site one? Yeah. I I, I struggled so hard with that one. Yeah, any anything that had that needed me to destroy, like kill somebody, kill X amount of things in a certain amount of time was no problem. Uh, the no hits one took me like maybe five, six tries. Okay. And then, but the one that get the one I actually didn't get gold is, uh, you have to get like six finishers, uh, in like a minute and a half or something. Dude, I got that one in, like if it was a minute and a half, I got it with a minute 29. (laughs) (laughs) I got like, I got it. Like it was like that last finisher, right? Uh, but see, I, I think at that point I had maxed out my focus. Yeah, that one I did early though. So, oh, so okay. like I was trying to like get six finishers with uh, without like the because because you would get the max focus and then your it'll give back all your fucking charges, right? Yeah, yeah. Our focus charges. So that was so. If I would go back now, it would probably be super easy. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. Um. Those I, I like those missions though, and then the whole story about how like halfway through I was like, oh, this bitch, <laughs> it's her. You think so? No, I, I kind of thought it was Mysterio the whole time. I was like, ah, oh, he's just fucking lying. I I think <laughs> I, no, you know, I want to say I was like that after like, I think when she calls you and says that Mysterio uh, got checked into like some mental health, mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know, I don't. You're up to that. some. Yeah, like that sounds shady as fuck. <laughs> uh, but no, I like I like those missions. What was the other one? I still hate the MJ missions. I didn't mind them. They were better. They were better this time because she was super. She was OP. the most. She's the most OP character in the game. Yes, she is. But I still felt she was like too slow. Like I was just like, ah, fuck yeah. Thank God, do this bullshit. <laughs> I was all right with it. It was like a change of pace. It wasn't. It was. It was better than just like. Having Spider Man fucking do all the like what like in the first game you just had Spider Man do all the things for her, yeah, she, yeah. Like <laughs> she just walked around and like this is stupid, yeah. Well, at, least, that, at least it was just like a little bit of uh, Last of Us action going on in there, and then you just that's true, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah. They, I, I will say, yeah, they were they were quick enough where like okay, they're not overly annoying, but it's like I could have done with one less. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wasn't happy with the last costume either, the life story costume. Yeah, for Miles, for Miles or Peter. Why not Peter? Peter wasn't Peter's just the anti venom suit. No, Peter's is well. The last suit you get for Peter is the life story suit because you have to finish the story to do the. Oh, last that's Emily not a story. Ma- that's not a story thing, though. No, no, but that's the name of the. That was the name of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's suit. a life story suit, but that's not the the ending. No, no, no. The anti venom suit was fucking epic. Yeah. But uh, I didn't know about the black suit, the like the OG fucking black suit being in the game. Oh and no. And so I played with that for fucking once I unlocked it, I was like, Yeah, once I unlocked that, I put that on. Yeah. I was just that, yeah. Um with Miles, I feel like the twenty twenty was it the twenty twenty miles or whatever, the one where he's got the helmet. It looks like the life story helmet, but better. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That was my favorite Miles suit. The the Wolverine one was the best one. For me. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I did play with the Wolverine for the rest of the game though. Once I got that one, <laughs> yeah, I like the fact that they called it the best suit. <laughs> yeah, was it the best? No, what was it? The best in? It's like the best in something. I think it's just called the best suit. I don't think so. Yeah, I could be wrong. Let me see. 
Um, what was I going to say? Uh, there was something else about it that I liked. Yeah, but Miles' story suit, there's something about the blue. It's the, the blue didn't really do it for me, and then the lack of webbing on the fit on the mask or something. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people there is. a lot of people are complaining about the hair being out, but I didn't mind that. No, I didn't mind that either. Yeah. No, I, I did yeah, I did like that that suit. But yeah, I get I get what you're saying. Yeah, it didn't look I like the shoes though. Those shoes are fucking dope. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, felt like, like, I, I felt like the shoes didn't match with uh, at least the uh original color palette. Yeah, no, okay. yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like that suit was just to like look at these shoes. Yeah. Like those, yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, these six zoos, and we got we made Miles's hair like this for a reason, guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Haley liked the suit, so yeah. <laughs> so it turns out it turns out that she you know, like uh uh, uh the Genki wasn't cucking. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Miles was no. thick wingman, wingman, and yeah, yeah. Uh, the Wolverine suit's called the best suit there is. That's what it was called. Best there is, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was. I, I don't like that they killed off Scorp, uh, Scorpion and. Uh, who, oh, yeah. Who else did they kill? Scorpion and. Uh, oh, fuck. Um. Oh my god, why can't I that was the other one they released? No. Uh, lizard. Lizard. Yes, yes. No, they didn't kill lizard. They didn't kill lizard. No, I'm sorry. Oh. But they yeah. Right. No, so no. Uh well no, that's so I don't know if you saw this story, but like so someone was doing photo mode uh -huh. and they were they, they glitched under under the street and found this underground room with mm -hmm. a throne and it has like trophies and it's Rhino's head, Vulture's head, and Scorpion's head on a wall. Yeah, that's right. They killed they kill all three of them. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not, that's like I guess unconfirmed because it was just only a glitch. You don't actually see that room in the game, ever. But I and feel we, like we, it's confirmed. Yeah, I feel like it is too. Because in the uh, game, in the game, you run into he, you go into the room and they have Vulture's wings, right? Yes. And I think it's implied that he killed him. Did he kill him? Yeah, yeah. And same thing with uh, Rhino. Didn't he? Didn't they show a video of him like beating the shit out of him? Or something? Yes, they did. Or they showed something. Because he like souped himself up, Craven souped himself up, and he was basically tossing Rhino around or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, um, I felt well. I guess I mean, I feel like I like the way they did the the whole thing with Craven, where it was like when you're fighting him as Peter, he's hard as fuck. Then you're fighting yeah. him with, and then like you fight him with the Venom suit, and he's easier. Then you fight him as fucking Venom, and he's just like, he's a fuck his, yeah. Like you just destroy him, and I was like, "Oh fuck yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, I liked it a lot. Uh, let me see what else. There? What else was there? I like playing as Venom. I feel like I, I would have liked a couple more. I didn't like Harry as Venom either, though. That's the other thing I didn't like. I I still don't mind. I don't mind. I think I think this is the best iteration of Harry. Yeah, yeah. I will I will say that. <laughs> best iteration of Spider Man. Yeah. Um. And so, and like they basically tease Hobgoblin at the end. Yeah, cause cause Harry lived, right? Harry, yeah, Harry lived, and then. Uh, oh, but he's a vegetable. Yeah, and then and then so, Norman said something about the G formula or like G something formula. Uh huh. And then they get the G formula, get G whatever formula ready. Yeah, so like they're, and then he goes on uh, fucking auto. Yeah. Asking for well, give me Spider Man's name. Yeah, it's like you know who they are. But I feel like everybody knows who the fuck Miles is, though. Like Miles is terrible at hiding who the fuck he is. <laughs> no, it's just the people in the neighborhood who know him. <laughs> and then, and then the other thing that bothered me too is like, like Spider Man is just constantly going in and out of Peter's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like no problem. It's like, why is Spider Man over there so much? Like, what the fuck? House. <laughs> Like if I was Spider Man's neighbor, I think I would know. Like, what? Hey, are you Spider Man? Are you guys just really good friends? It's like, what's going on here? And, uh, <laughs> I go, I'd go to Peter with, with, hey, I don't, I don't want to worry you, but I think MJ's cheating on you with Spider Man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like yes, every time, so, anytime, yes, anytime, anytime you can be like, oh, <laughs> anytime you, anytime you leave the house, Spider Man shows up. I don't hey, just then you know. I mean, I wouldn't fight Spider Man over a woman, but you do you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's waving her up if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she doesn't make the episode to waving her up. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, uh, did you catch the uh, the silk tease? Yes. Uh, some oh, I forget her name right now. Moon. Cindy. Yeah, the Cindy Moon. Yes, thank you. Mm. Yeah. So I, I, as soon as I heard the name, I was like, I know that fucking name. And then I, I had to run through my geek database in the back of my brain. I was like, that's fucking silk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool that they're gonna go with her instead of like Gwen Stacy or something. Yeah. Yeah. Have they have they teased Gwen Stacy at all in the, in the game? I don't think so. Right. No. I, I still don't like MJ in this game. Yeah, I'm, no, I liked her. I liked her. I didn't mind her. I, I don't know. I just, I didn't like her. And then I feel like that whole thing was screamed, like when she was saying all that, talking all that shit. I was like, yeah, because you're a bitch. Like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could actually kill you right now instead of save you from this. Fucking... Right? I, I feel like he, he needs. But, I mean, they they go with Black Cat and her girlfriend and all that stuff. Like, but I prefer Spider Man and Black Cat in this version instead of. Oh, that Black Cat mission was sick too. Yeah, that was pretty dope. What the fuck? When when uh, when you have the wand at the end, I'm like, oh fuck yeah, that's a new power. And then it just disappears. It's like son of a bitch. Yeah, fucking wand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was gonna be a new power. I was like, holy shit, that's awesome. And then nope. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, I did thought that that was gonna be like Miles is uh new power upgrade tree. Yeah. You know, when P- Peter's getting uh, the Venom powers, <laughs> Miles is channeling uh, Doctor like, Strange. Doctor Strange, <laughs> yeah. Um, there was one thing when I, when I was doing the Platinum that kind of pissed me off. And it's my own stupid fault for not fucking listening to it, or not like paying attention to it. But I forgot Miles's electricity powers were called Venom powers. Oh, yeah. So, like, it kept, it was like, Defeat twenty five enemies with fucking with the evolved venom powers. So I just kept switching to Peter and using the fucking symbiote powers. I'm like, why oh, yeah. am I not getting this fucking trophy? No- <laughs> and then I got then I started playing as Venom. So I'm like, okay, maybe that's what it is. And then I'm like, wait, no, still not. And then I got, I went some I forgot what I did. I looked at the skill tree and I was like, oh, Venom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they're not Venom ability. They're not Venom abilities. They're symbiote. Symbiote. Yeah. So I was just like, God damn it, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but the last two, I, the last ones I had to get, it was that one, the, the, the enhanced Venom abilities and um, using, so whenever you do the, what is it, the, the symbiote rage? The surge, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, the, the, surge. The, the thing, that's what I, that was my last one too, yeah. Because I never thought to use those powers. I was like, let me save those for when I need it because when symbiote surge, I can just fucking mollywop everybody. Like, I don't need those fucking abilities. Yeah, and so I was just like beating the shit out of it, and I was like, "Oh, I sh- should have used those abilities." <laughs> <laughs> so like, I was just swinging around, waiting for crimes to happen, and then like, what made it worse was like, okay, so I swing around, make like, you know, I have to build up that fucking symbiote surge, and then I use it, and it's like I get like four people. You get four, like, yeah, you get four. <laughs> if all your things are are good, <laughs> so it's like then I gotta go again and then build it up and then do yeah. So that that one took me a little time. But overall, I think I, I enjoyed the game. Um, it was short. That's like that's most people's biggest complaint is it's. I feel like it's it's I longer feel, than Miles Morales, but it's shorter than the original. I feel no, like. I think it's the same as the original. You it's, think so? Yeah, it's just streamlined. Maybe. Yeah, I can see that. There's not a lot of the like. There's missions. no fat. There's no fat. There's no. It's just. All that. If you wanted a fast travel, it takes fucking a half a second. That's true. That's yeah. very true. I didn't. I didn't fast travel too much. The only time I ever fast traveled was like, okay, well, I'm down here at the bottom of the map, and I need to get to the top of the fucking map. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did the uh the which one was it? The soar trophy. I did that one on accident. Oh really? Yeah, because I was at the, in the financial district. There's a really tall building that has like a point at the top. Mm-hmm. And I was just on the top of that building, and I just dove off, and like uh, I, I saw that there was a uh, wind tunnel. So I like, was like, let me, see if I, 
Yeah, yeah. let me see if I can get to that wind tunnel. I'm like, let me just see how far I can get. I made it all the way. It's like, oh shit, I got a trophy for that. Nice. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Yeah, but I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Um, let me see here. I got one really quick story, non Spider Man related. And it's, uh, it's a Halloween story. That's why I'll just get it out of the way before we take a quick break here. Right. Um, Mortal Kombat had a Halloween fatality. Added. Oh, I heard about this, yeah. And so it was like, and but they were selling it for like, I, I think it was like a dollar ninety nine or $2 or some shit like that. But like uh-huh. that was the only way you could get to unlock that fatality was by buying it. And people were like, it's a fucking Halloween fatality. Like just fucking give it to the community. Uh-huh. And I remember like what I was saying about waiting on buying Mortal Kombat. And like I bought it because it's Mortal Kombat and I was because you're buying because I'm weak, yes. But I bought it and now I'm like, ah, I should have just fucking waited. God damn. Because I played it, I finished the story mode, and then I just started playing other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I should have just waited. You know, like because Omni Man comes out to what's today? Today? Today, yeah, yeah. Omni Man gets released today, so I'll probably play it a little bit just to fuck with Omni Man and see how he plays. Uh-huh. And that's probably it. And then I'll move on to something else. Well, you got the DLC or what? Yeah, yeah. I have, I have the I have the combat pack. Combat pack one. Okay. So yeah, I'll get Omni Man today. Then so I'll, I'll check him out. I can't wait till they bring Peace, Peacemaker in. But I'm try- I you know cause I'm curious about how what fatalities Peacemaker is gonna have. I'm trying uh, to think of, oh maybe the maybe the the when he's, he's gonna shoot the way... bathtub. He's gonna shoot a fan into your bathtub. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, how he killed Rick Flag in Suicide Squad. How did he kill him again? He cho- didn't he just choke him? No, didn't he stab him with something? No, no, wait, no, that was the other way around. Rick Flag stabbed him, huh? Yeah. Damn. Never mind. I think he did just choke him. I have to watch it again. I don't remember now. So I'm curious about like what kind of fatalities you would have. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's going to be something to do with the gun. It's just going to explode your head, but there's going to be more to it. <laughs> yeah. Is there explosive rounds? Yeah. <laughs> the, the smaller bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I've been playing Mario Wonder. How how much how do you like it? I've only played like the first world, I guess. Yeah, I just got to the second world, to the like to, I guess to the hub world. Uh huh. And I like it so far. I mean, it's it's typical Mario. I've only seen two of the. I've only seen the fire flower and, and the elephant. Um. But I like it. I like yeah, it. mostly. Uh, I, I heard it's only three. It's only, there's only three new powers. Okay. I think what, it's the elephant, and then there's like a. Damn, I forget what the other ones are now. I it's saw like them. Balloon. You turn into a. There's one where he turns into a balloon. And okay. Then, and then I forgot the other one. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I like it so far. I like I like the badges. The whole like, cause you get these like extra abilities. And then yeah, you, I like you, those. So I just unlocked one where like when you're running, you can run off the edge a little bit and then jump. Like so, you get a. Uh, it's called. Like expert dash or something like that. So you can like uh-huh. when you run when you run off a platform, he takes like three or four extra steps, and then you can jump again. Oh, okay. That That's one was hard to get. Yeah. So that one. Did you? So when you um. In that first world, did you did you uh, play the first castle yet? The first major castle. Uh yeah. Okay. Did you before you get to the castle there? You can go down into some like a pit, or you can go up into some mountains. Yeah. If you go all the way to the top of the mountains, you'll get that that badge and then you take and then you can continue on and there's a secret world up there oh really or a special world yeah you know how like uh in super mario world they had the star world yeah yeah. it's kind of like that but they just call it special world <laughs> wait so what badge do you do you get to your t- the dash one you get that dash one yeah by doing the mountain stuff yeah i thought i got i thought i did that maybe i already have that one then maybe I you, thought I only so, had the the one where you you your hat parachute, and then wall jump. One where you yeah you wall jump like vertical, 
Yeah, and then there should be uh, one that where you start the level with the mushroom. Yeah, and then at the very like if you like I said if you go to the top of that mountain. So no, because there's two. Okay, so there's two areas. So there's one in that main first area where you walk around, and then you can go up, and you have that toad, or you have that little poplin or whatever, smash mm-hmm. the rock. Uh huh. And then, but if you go further than that, and then there's one area where you can go down, and there's like a dungeon with like two levels and a, like a KO arena they called it. Oh yeah, I think I did that one. Okay, and then if you go up, there's like a whole other. Oh, there's even no. more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So instead of going to the castle, you go up, and then like there's, there's I think I want to say like five levels that you can go through plus that tri- plus that uh, trial. Oh, okay, that's where I missed. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I like it. It's typical Mario, but it's fun. It's challenging. Uh, the the star difficulty, like because those ones on the mountain are like three and four stars. Mm-hmm. And like when you get to the secret world, the one is it's a five star fucking difficulty level. And I was like, holy shit, this is hard as fuck. <laughs> is but it? I got yeah, I got. Isn't there their five star one earlier? That uh, that one didn't seem that hard. I think down in the bottom, down the bottom, there was a four star one. That's the one where you ride the fucking bull rushers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I was like, that one was yeah. easy. <laughs> no, that that was pretty easy. It just it, for with me, it was, I was I didn't know what to expect. I had to play like three times to get that last coin. Yeah, that last like I couldn't for whatever reason I just couldn't make that jump and I kept fucking missing it. I mm-hmm. finished the level, but I would miss that stupid coin. Um, but no, this one it's uh, it's you know those fucking hippos that roll. Yeah, yeah, they're giant hippos and everything is spiked around them, so you have to like keep bouncing off those hippos yeah, to get. On yeah, so that one that one was kind of difficult, but I bet the fun. parachute if you use the little parachute one would probably be easy. I think that's what I used to get past to get through it. Yeah, I did actually because so I want because there's one area you're supposed to like just bounce off them to get to the next platform, but I just parachuted to it. Mm. <laughs> but um, hey, let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and for a word from our sponsor. Yep. <laughs> What's going on, people? It's Pistol Pete Jr. here. Just to remind you one more time to check out Ray's Energy Drinks by Rep Sports. Ray's Energy Drinks. Amazing flavors. Zero sugar, zero dyes, zero crash. None of the junk, none of the bullshit that's in these other energy drinks. They're amazing. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love them. Use coupon code TRPS for checkout. Get 15% off your order. Check out repsports.com. R E P P S P O R T S dot com. Again, use coupon code T R P S uh, for fifteen percent off your order and to let them know that we sent you. Welcome back to the Peter Round Podcast. Okay, and we're back one more game. Hey, so I need to ask you about this. Um, I don't li- normally listen to new music. Okay, if it was made past the two thousands. I probably don't listen to it. But I've come across this dude. His name is Dax. D A X. Have you heard of him? Nope. Uh, I, I'm the worst person to be asking about music. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you're, I think you're kind of in the same boat. You don't listen to anything new, right? Or newish. Well, I'll listen to new stuff. It's just, it's just I prefer, like, even if I listen to it, it's like a one time thing. And then I'll be like, yeah, that was good. And then I go back to whatever the fuck I'm listening to. Okay. Like I'll hear, uh, like, like I'll hear, like, oh, Drake's got a new album, and I listen to it, and I said hey, it's all right. And, okay, yeah, yeah. And then I go back to my fucking emo, my, <laughs> my emo pop punk songs. Nice. Which I don't blame you. That's that's, you know what? That's funny because I was on a fucking emo kick for a while. Like I was just listening to the point where like, I was at work, and uh-huh. um, like, I, I so I, in my office, I normally keep my office door open, but I'm in my office by myself. There's a reception area right outside my office, but there was no one there. And it was like, it was like 6 a.m. They don't normally get there till seven. And I'm yeah. sitting there jamming out to my music, and I guess I was singing louder, like I was singing along. And it was, um, what was I listening to? I was listening to Fall Out Boy or something, but like it was like it was just an emo playlist, and then like. I look up. Oh no! So the next, well, that song ends. Oh, it was a, a, a dear Maria. Count me in. Say that again. Dear Maria. Oh okay. I was I was I was fucking belting that fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught? Did you get caught? <laughs> I got caught. So but no. So so the next song that came on 
is that one what's that i forget i think it's called like tonight's the night that i will fall for you that one that meme one that everyone's been yeah yeah so that song came on next and i laughed uh-huh. and and I, I think i laughed and i think i paused the song then i and then i hear something and i look up and the receptionist is looking directly at me just with this biggest smile on her face i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> i was like did you hear me she was like yep <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah, I'd be right, mortified. I'm... I'd be mortified. Yeah. I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to close this door now. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it just happened because, like, like across, from my, like, across from my desk through the door, like, it's their desk, but there's, like, a sign blocking them. And I just saw, like, she was just right in the, right between my door and the sign. So it was just, like, this little gap. I look, I look right at her. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> 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 uh, but no, so I've been listening. Uh, I was on that kick for a while. But then I came across this dude, Dax, right? And it's this black dude. He's got like a, a fade with the the dread, kind of like Miles's haircut. Uh huh. And he does like this country style, right? And it was like Dax is revenge for Eminem. It's like why why do why do black people need revenge for Eminem? Like why like <laughs> <laughs> Eminem came out and did some good shit. Like why do like why like okay? And so I, I listened to this dude's song. He did it's a, it's a song called "To Be a Man." And it's him and Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh-huh. And it's fucking amazing. Such a good fucking song, right? Uh-huh. But you know when you listen to it, like if you go on Spotify and you listen to the artist playlist and it'll just play whatever's next in his top five or whatever? Yeah. So I'm listening to this to that song and it ends and the next song starts playing and it's this fucking hard fucking hip-hop track. And it's like the beat is sick, his flow is sick. I'm like, who the fuck is this? And I pulled it. It's the same fucking dude. Uh huh. I was like, "Holy! Like, how the fuck?" So now you're a Dak super fan. Yes, <laughs> I've all I've been on him all weekend. Like this song, like then he's got this other song called "God's Eyes." I'm like, "Holy fuck! This dude is a fucking genius." <laughs> so yeah, it's like just he's so versatile. Like I was just like, "Holy shit!" Like dude's good. So when you get a chance, look him up. Uh, okay. And then speaking of super fan stuff. Metal Gear Solid Delta. Uh huh. It was it's a gameplay demo, I guess, or it's a. It was just the engine trailer. It was a trailer. It was just. It was an engine trailer showing off what Metal Gear Solid Delta is gonna. The Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater is gonna look in the Unreal Engine. And skeet skeet, like I just. It looks fucking amazing. It didn't look that much better than Phantom Pain to me. Really? No. To me, I felt like with the um, like the mud, the way he, when he was crawling through the mud and how like it started to fall off him, and like, and I think mainly, really for me, it's the it's seeing the difference between the two. Like, yeah. To me, I, I and like the, the, the way the grass moves, and like it's just a lot of little things to me that make it look fucking epic. Yeah. Um, then on top of that, it's just it's Metal Gear, so. Skeet skeet. <laughs> I guess for me, I'm just like overly skeptical over about Konami <laughs> at this point right now. I, I am, but see, the thing is, is like there, there's. I don't want to say there's no way they can fuck it up because I don't want to jinx it. Well, but it's the kind of way they can fuck it up. The, the, I'm sure they would, but like I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know the source material, and I know it's going. Yeah, I know they can fuck it up. I hope they don't. I hope they don't. Like, I mean, all they have to do is take that game. And do what they already did. Literally just update the graphics and that's it. That's all they had to fucking do. Yeah, but they didn't do it. It was Kojima who did it. And Kojima yeah. there. <sighs> yes, I know, I know. But that's all they had to do. Just it's already made. Don't fuck with anything else. Update the graphics. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all they have to fucking do. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they that's what they do. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I was already hyped on it before and now I'm even more hyped. Yeah. I heard they're also getting a bunch of shit for, uh, that, uh, that remastered collection or whatever it is. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't buy it. I was going to buy it. And I'm glad I didn't because it's basically, literally, it's just the same remaster they put out for the PS3 and the PS4 and <laughs> yeah. And then they charge you fucking $70. 60? Yeah. 
They charge, yeah, 70 bucks. So the thing is, is that you can buy it as a bundle for 70 bucks, or you can buy each game individually for 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, for, yeah it's... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Like that's that's retarded. So I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't buy it. I was going to, but <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. Um, tch, tch, tch. you watched Five Nights at Freddy's. I watched it in the theater. Uh huh. What did you think? It was. I, I mean, I didn't pay attention fully, but it seemed all right. I liked it. I I'd give it a six. Yeah, you got to be a fan of that Shaggy, of the guy who plays Shaggy, man. Right, what's his name, Matthew Lillard? But yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's I think that's what gave me. If if he wasn't in it, it probably would have been a five. But he he gets a whole extra nacho. He gets a whole extra nacho. Because <laughs> yeah, um, he's I mean he's a horror icon now. So what else is he in? Uh, Scream. Oh yes. Yeah, he's in Scream. He's in the first Scream. He was one of the the killers. Uh, obviously, he's Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Um, he was SLC Punk. He is in Hackers, but the horror horror wise, it's Scream. Like he was okay. one of the main guys at the end with all the rules. With all the rules, remember the rules of how to, like how to survive a horror movie? No, you don't remember that. Okay, so for the the the, the basis of the first Scream was it's like they're living in a horror movie. They go like. Or no, it's not. They're not. They're not that they're living in a horror movie, but it's like horror movies are so cliche. And like, so if you want to survive a horror movie, like they had this whole bit in the very beginning of the movie uh-huh. that it was like, okay, like never say I'll be right back. Never have sex, you know, or during this or something. Or like, there's like all these like cliche things on yeah. how people die in horror movies. Yeah, never. And he was the one from the group. Never. Yeah, never. <laughs> And his the, the big one was never say I'll be right back. And then like some guy leaves and like I'll be right back. Then he leaves and gets murdered. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, so that was and he was so and, and then I don't know if you remember, but like in the way they made it, the way they were able to make it seem so supernatural between those two characters or between the, with the ghost face was because there was actually two of them. Oh, okay. And, and he was one of the ghost faces. So that's that's but yeah. That's where how he became a horror icon. That's pretty cool. Is Courtney Cox yeah. in the first one, or is she later? She is. She's in the first one as well. Her Neff Campbell was it Drew Barrymore? I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with the screen. Uh, yeah, I don't remember who was. the first. To me, the first one was the best one. Uh huh. The other ones are all right. I haven't seen the newest one. I want to just because that one looks pretty fucking brutal. Actually, I, I, the I heard the last one was really good. That's what I've heard too. I want to check it out. Um, but yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I see. I'm not so. I've only played the first game. I don't know a lot of the lore. I don't know. Like the one thing I do know is about the gameplay. There's a lot of jump scares. Uh-huh. So I feel like I feel like they had some good jump scares. I don't know. They didn't really. Like I said, I wasn't paying attention fully, and for you to be jump scared, you have to be kind of. You have to be, you have to be paying attention, yeah. Paying attention, yeah. So I feel like if I would have seen it, if I wouldn't have seen it in the theaters, I probably not, I might not have liked it as much. Mm-hmm. But it, it, in theaters, it was good. I liked it. Um, it was funny. It had its moments where because it, it was a PG thirteen horror movie. Yeah. So I mean, and the directors say they're 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 sticking with that rating. They're not they're not they're like hey we're because like, they've already talked about they're going to do a, a trilogy. Oh, for future movies you're talking about? Okay. Yeah, and so they're sticking with the PG-13 rating. I mean, it's it's uh, generally a kid's thing, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, I mean, like, like adults play it, but it's not meant to be. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of like that cusp between, it's like a preteen kind of game. It's like baby's, baby's first horror movie. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, it was, I liked it. I thought it was, I thought it was, I think the story was good. I feel like. With the game, because like I get, I didn't know that there's so much lore to the Five Nights at Freddy games, just because like like I said, I've only played the first one, and the first one was like uh-huh. you're a security guard, and the fucking and the robots come back to life at night, and don't let them kill you. Right, <laughs> that's the whole game. <laughs> you know, I mean, and then you get you 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 know you get the story about all oh, the kids were killed here. It's like you just okay, well, it's because the robots are alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's why kids disappeared. That's Those fucking robots killed them. <laughs> and then, so they get they get into a little bit about it about the whole the serial killer thing, killing kids, and 
the, and like uh, the only thing I don't like I, I didn't like was like because like the main character the security guard yeah like, it's his, one of his brother gets killed and like so he's like going to dream to try to relive the memory over and over to find that one thing to find the guy uh-huh. so it's like they, they, they focused a little bit too much on that it was more about like this guy and his memories as opposed to the hit like like the Freddy and the kids yeah I think I think it was to give more reason why he would have to stay in such a terrible situation. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I can see that too. But and, and also like like obviously they don't want to like because if you tell the whole story, then it's like okay, well you're ruining the mystery now. Yeah, it's like they they had to build the suspense and like unfold little by little details at a time. But yeah, I, I mean overall, I liked it. I, th- I think it was a good. Like I said, I give it a solid six. I think I, I watched it again right after, so like the next day because we saw it uh, last Saturday. Uh, then, yeah, the yeah, Saturday then, before. Yeah, <laughs> Saturday yeah, before. the Saturday before. Yeah, and then so then I watched it again that Sunday because I, I actually enjoyed it that much in the theater that I watched it again on Peacock mm. or whatever, whatever it's on. And yeah, I liked it. It was good. I feel like I can understand why the fan, but see, that's so that's one of the things. So Jasmine is a fan of it, right? And she was like, oh, they didn't do this, and they didn't do that, and they didn't do this. And I said, get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> every video game movie ever, like, you they like, that's every fan's complaint is they didn't do this and they didn't do that. Oh, they left out this part. Yeah, oh, they, why did they change this part? <laughs> yeah. Like, they changed his backstory. Oh, why did they, they change the, I, the color of the fucking power up? No, like, okay. <laughs> They made this character black. He's always yeah. white. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was like so I told her like yeah, just get used to it. But I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was again. But like, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan, and I don't know all the lore. So for someone coming in that doesn't know it, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was it was it was, it was a fine movie. Yeah. I probably it wouldn't, was, I wouldn't I, I I don't know if I'd be happy if I went to the movies for it. <laughs> I, you know what? I mean, I, I feel like that that experience made it better. Okay. Um. And, oh, and there was there was uh, an end credit scene. Did you see that stupid little doll that we kept jump scaring everybody? The one that was in his locker. Yeah. yeah. Holding holding the balloons. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the movie, uh, the fucking the taxi driver that takes him to the store to the place the first time. Yeah. He's there and like like he's just he's asleep and he's like I'm off duty. The door opens and closes. He's like, man, I told you I'm off duty. And you turn around and it's that fucking thing in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> and they do the whole jump scare thing again. <laughs> that I think that was the only jump scare that actually got me in the whole movie was that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, let me see here. What else? Well, DC DC well, trying to. Uh, I'm sticking that? with horror real quick. Okay. I've also been playing a little game called. Oh yeah, Alan Wake. Wake. No spoilers, please, because I'm, I'm going to buy it this week. I'm not going to spoil it, but I will say that there is a moment that is probably just as good as the ashtray makes. <laughs> oh. See, if, yeah, I'm in. I'm already in. I was already in because I'm hearing you guys talk about it. Uh-huh. And now, now, that, now that I know there's like if there's something similar to the ashtray maze, I'm fucking so in. Yeah, and it's, a, it's pretty early on, too. Nice. Um so basically, you can play. You play two chapters with each character, and then you can, <clears throat> and then after that, you can uh, basically play the game in any order you want. Uh, oh, nice! And there's a, uh, from what I heard, nine chapters of each character. So you can play. You can literally play all chapters for Alan Wake, and then <clears throat> go play his saga for the rest. That's uh, fucking cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up. Um... <clears throat> I remember, like, because con- control, control was such a fucking good game. Yeah, I was already, I was already all in and invested, and then the fucking ashtray maze happened, and I was like, "How can this? Like, this is the greatest game ever." <laughs> 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 like, I was already, cause I was already so invested. I was already having so much fun playing this game. Uh-huh. And then the fucking, a- then the ashtray maze. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> Yeah, you find so a bunch good. of you find a bunch of documents all over the town that you're in uh, on the F, F, FBC. Yeah, FBC. Yeah, nice. 
Um, uh, that was we'll see that that was one of the things I liked too. Was like there's all this like they're they're intertwining the lore and they're keeping it alive and they're keeping it like so. It, this is in the Alan Wake universe, so Alan Wake Two is gonna have to reference that. And then when they do Control Two, like it's gonna yeah I'm, yeah I'm just, yeah. I need to play it. I'm, I'm no, gonna dump. remedy games that aren't uh, in the universe are Max Payne because they're owned by yeah. Rockstar. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, but the, but they make a reference to him at one point in Control, I believe. Mm. They don't say they don't say Max Payne, but they they make a reference to a cop or something like that. Oh. Uh, you basically uh, have Max Payne in it because there's another there's a guy the Sam Lake is modeled after him, right? You know that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's there's a guy who Sam Lake is <laughs> as a he's an FBI agent. So. Oh, nice. That's funny. In a big part. Nice. Um, <clears throat> I, have, I have a bunch of DC news. I'm going to kind of just throw it at you. All right. So, apparently they're going to be rebooting Green Lantern again. And Channing Tatum is being talked to to portray him. But he's going to be Gambit. He can be both. But he's going to... But but time constraints. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm a fan of Channing Tatum, and if he can do, if if he can do both, I'd rather see him as Gambit over Hal Jordan. But if he can do both, I'm I'll, I'm down for both. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Excuse the ruffling. I'm uh, I'm constructing my waifu. Oh, nice. I got a figurine. I got a figurine uh, at a anime Pasadena. Anime Pasadena. Yeah. Very nice. Um, the other bit of DC news, uh, Joe Manganiello uh-huh. will reportedly return as Deathstroke in the DCU, which he I was, think is awesome. He was Deathstroke in what? In uh... he was in an end credit scene at the end of. Oh, okay, who? Uh, I thought he was in Just... CW in the CW series. No, no, no. He was in the end credit scene at, at the end of. Uh... Was it Batman versus Superman or was it the fucking Justice League? Um, probably Justice League. I feel like that makes more sense. Yeah, I think I think I think so. Um, and he's also Flash Thompson in the. Uh, oh yeah, I forget. Sony. Forget about that. I wouldn't want to fight me neither. <laughs> uh, sh- what else? Highlander reboot starring Henry Cavill. That's awesome. Wait, what reboot? Highlander. Oh, a Highlander? <laughs> yes. There can only there can be only one. They got to bring back the Queen song though. Cause that's fucking epic. What if they don't? Then I'll cry. Well, no, I'll just complain about it on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> um, have you heard? I think I've sent. A couple of his reels or TikToks. Um, have you guys heard? Have you heard of Latinos against spooky shit? No. No. Okay, I'll send you a couple of his uh, his reels. Um, dude's super fucking awesome. Uh, I was talking to him, and he might guest on the show. He he said he might be a guest. He might be a guest on the show. Yes. Okay. Well, we're we're gonna do it remotely because he doesn't live in our state, but. Uh, yeah, uh, super hyped because dude's super awesome, he's super funny, and I feel like he would fit in with our type of humor. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll send you some of his stuff. So, um, let's see here back at uh, Scarecrow movie is reportedly in the works at DC, uh, and will be set in the Matt Reeves Batman universe. Wait, say that again. So uh, they're working on a standalone Scarecrow movie. Oh, oh. So I guess... Yeah. So remember when we were talking about how we are like, okay, if you're going to have this overarching universe or you're going to have individual universes, and it seems like... So they're going to have the Joker movies, right? Uh-huh. They're going to have the Matt Reeves Batman movies with Cedric Diggory. And then they're going to have the Gunniverse. 
it's too much, too much. I kind of agree. Much I mean, I don't, th- I don't think uh, after Joker two, I don't think they're doing much more with the Joker movies. Yeah. And I think with the Batman, I don't know how far they're going to go with it. Maybe another trilogy, like they did with what's his nuts, Chris Nolan. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. Like it, yeah, like they have to. It has to either just be. You do a cinematic universe, pick one, mm-hmm. probably James Gunn, because he's yeah. got the best track record. Yes. Um, and then, or you would go, you would just say, fuck James Gunn, fuck all you other directors. It's, you make a good movie, and then maybe you'll get a trilogy if that movie does good. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I think, I think DC's kind of, they're trying to see which is going to do better. Are they going to do is, is will this James Gunn universe do well, or will this Matt Reeves Batman trilogy do well? Uh-huh. And so I think they're kind of they're not putting all their eggs in one basket, and they're going to see which does better. And then so if one does better than the other, then they'll probably go in one direction, and then leave the other behind, or some find a way to merge them. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. DC needs to get their shit together. Uh, oh, really quick to go back to the Five Nights at Freddy movie. Uh, opening weekend, Five Nights at Freddy's made a hundred and thirty million dollars. How's that in comparison to other stuff? Well, that is the biggest Bloom House opening ever. Bloom House. So that's pretty huge. Because I mean, they have. They've, I mean, they've had some pretty popular horror movies like Megan. Um, what are those the insidious do- movies? Uh, like they're they, that's what they do, they do horror movies now, right? And now, this Five Nights at Freddy has been their biggest movie, and they've already talked about they've already confirmed they're going to be doing a trilogy at least a trilogy with it, right? But you know how horror movies are, horror movies always end up having like 15 fucking chapters, <laughs> they're at Saw 10, yes, fucking seriously. And they and they've had they had the final chapter at six. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, well, like look at look at uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Friday Jason died like six times. <laughs> yeah, but he reincarnates. Uh, yeah, I feel like Freddy was the only one that when Freddy died, it was like okay, that's the last Freddy movie. Actually, no, I take that back because then they did the New Nightmare. But was that a reboot? It wasn't a reboot, so it was kind of like a. Uh, so it was breaking the fourth wall, though. So it was, Freddy, came to the real world, and he was going after the actress that played Nancy in the movies. Oh, okay. So it was a it was a reimagining, but with the same actors. Mm, I see. Which was which was I liked it a lot, um, and then they did they did do the reboot with uh, the dude that played like in, uh, Rorschach. You said and that one, yeah, Rorschach from uh, Watch- Watchmen. Yeah, he played he played Freddy. I wasn't really a fan of that one. He's gonna be a uh, he's gonna be the spot in a in a Spider Verse live action. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> uh, let me see here. What other stories I got here? Uh, do, do, do. Half Baked Two. They're finally coming out with a sequel. Harlan Williams has confirmed. Half Baked. Uh, the original Half Baked came out in like what ninety? No, it wasn't ninety six. Let me see. I don't know. I, did, I never watched Half Baked. Ninety eight. It came out in ninety eight. So that's a long ass time ago. Never seen Half Baked, sir. You do. You need definitely need to watch that one. I don't know. I never, I never was like super into like weed movies. I, yeah, I mean, I get that. I've never seen Cheech and Chong. See, you're missing out on those ones. Never seen any Cheech and Chongs. Yeah, you got, you got to expand your, expand your horizons, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? What else? Let me see here. I got some that I was going to bring up. Uh, have you played the campaign from Modern Warfare yet? Haven't touched it yet. I'm I'm dedicated on finishing Alan Wake before I. Nice. Do it. I think I'm I think I'm going to pick it up 
because I, I had the pre-order already. I didn't realize because I kept going to my thing. like, why don't I have the fucking, why can't I play it? Yeah. I kept going back to the fucking screen. It's like, it's not letting me, like, it's just opening Modern Warfare. Like, why is, and I, then I realized, oh. <laughs> 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 so I, I have, I just haven't played it. Uh, I just, like I said, I just finished Spider-Man and then I was playing Mario Wonder. So I might take a break and, and uh, just check out the story. Um, IGN gave it a four. Yeah, the consensus has pretty much been it's uh, very bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how they were going to follow up because three uh, two was so good. Two got a ten, didn't it? The the campaign. I don't know. I think it got a nine. A nine? Okay. Well, I know. I I know it got a high rating. Yeah. That campaign was amazing. I, I feel like that was yeah. the best story, and not not just because it was a cartel, but it was. I mean, it was like so well done and so well acted. Um. Yeah, supposedly this one's just like so rushed. It's only like four hours. Also, oh, what the fuck? I yeah, guess see, I'm gonna. It seems just very obvious that they they always seem to give Sledgehammer the fucking short end of the stick, and they just make him do like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> they have to just deal with it. it was just as the worst studio out of the three. Yeah, they they usually are, but I I don't. I don't know if that's just the team's talent or if it's whenever they make Sledgehammer do something, it's a, it always seems last minute is, is the thing. It's like every, yeah, but it's like ever since but they go ahead. ever since uh, World War II, uh-huh. uh, that was like the last like scheduled game that that's what they're gonna have, and then it was like okay, we're just going to do... It's just going to be uh, Treyarch and Infinity War now, and Sledgehammer's just going to be helping with uh, with multiplayer or whatever on both sides. Or yeah. Warzone. Or, or, may, or my... No, no, the multiplayer on both sides. While, yeah. it, while Raven worked on Warzone for both sides. Uh, yeah. And then, and then all of a sudden after... I think Cold War, they're like, actually, Advanced War, uh, Sledgehammer is going to do another game, and it's uh, Vanguard. <laughs> and so, so it was like, oh, it must have been last minute. I, I doubt that they were like, yeah, you do it. Because I, I think they just wanted to give Infinity War more time. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I get that. And then, and then, after Infinity War, it should be Treyarch. Treyarch, yeah. And all of a sudden, look at it's fucking Sledgehammer Games again. So, okay. yeah, which is weird, it, it, which is weird because you figure, okay, if it's one of their big things, like because Vanguard was its own thing. It had nothing to do with Black Ops, and it had nothing to do with Modern Warfare, right? Yeah. So if you're gonna put something in between, why not make it a different game instead of Modern Warfare Three, so they can fuck it up? I think so many people who were hyped off of Modern Warfare Two, they felt like they had a. Uh... Keep the train going. I bet they had. They felt like they had to ride the lightning. Yeah, and just uh, maybe and get it out instead of waiting three years for another Modern Warfare game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see that because I mean that story was so good though. For like, uh, I'm gonna play it. I'll, I'll report back on the next episode. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they would trust one of their most precious IPA I, IPAs IPs. IPAs. To, yeah. To uh, the cod logger, to <laughs> that's the episode. <laughs> cod, uh, I be cod logger, it's uh, 13%. Percent. <laughs> Fucks your whole day up, but you just can't stop drinking it. Oh my god, yep, it's, it's full of filler. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you, you gotta do it with the boys. Whatever you always gotta do with the boys at the end of the night. <laughs> that always gonna uh, fucked up the time. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste as good as it used to, but you can't stop yeah. drinking. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I think on that note, let's go ahead and wrap this up. <laughs> um, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the real press start on tweeters at real press start on Instagram at the real press start on TikTok at the real press start. 
Like us, rate us, review us, anywhere you get your podcasts. And on that note, game over. No more questions. <laughs> he thought I was going to leave, but now I'm leaving.